Good morning, everybody. This is Diana. We prepared our background, and for lesson three, it's time to bring our background into Cartoon Animator 5. In our lesson, they showed us that there are two ways that we can bring our image into Cartoon Animator 5. I'm going to go to the custom plate template. We have our normal templates and we have our custom templates. And if we go to scene, we can see that there's three things. We have a scene, we have an image layer, and we have a background. Okay, if you go to templates and look at scenes, the scenes are actually the whole ball of wax. They have everything. It's the background and anything that you want in your scene. So we're not going to be working with scenes yet. We don't know how to. And the next choice is our image layer or our background. What he showed us, let's look at background first. Over here on the left is create media. If you hit the button, you can go in and you can select background. And then you go to your background picture that you created and you click open. Now what happens is that brings it in as a background. But if you can see, I'm clicking all around it and you can't move it. It's, I mean, it is quote, the background. And so you can save it in your custom. Click on background and you can click save and you can actually save it into your background so you could use it later. Um, you have to select the image type, and so it's going to be a scene in the background. And then we're going to call it Ocean Scene. And there it is. It will pop it into your custom backgrounds. Okay, right now I'm going to step back and undo this. Now, even though we undid the background, it still stays in your background as an image that you can use later on. They suggest that you bring it in as a image layer. And the reason for that is, is that then you can actually move it around. You can actually move it around. And when you're working in the 3D, apparently that makes a big difference. So that's our lesson right there. We brought it in. We can do the same thing with it as an image. We're going to go over here. We're going to click image layer and we're going to click save. We're going to save it scene image layer. We're going to save it again as ocean scene. So now we have this in here and let me delete this, and I want to use it. Oh, I deleted it. I want to use it. So you click on it, and you say apply, and voila, there it is. You delete that. If I want a background, I go to background, click apply, voila, I have a background. I hope this has been helpful. In lesson four, we're going to learn how to bring in our new vector graphics from Illustrator. Have a great day, Diana.